Hey guys, to make sure you keep getting great content from us, definitely hit subscribe and consider leaving us a nice review. It helps us know how we can improve the show and helps us to find a larger audience. Hello again and welcome to the BitHead Podcast. I'm Thaddeus. And I'm Dan. And this is episode 17. On today's episode, we're going to talk about Black Desert Online, give my final thoughts on Fire Emblem Three Houses, then... I'm going to talk about a visual novel called Will a Wonderful World. And then we're going to close off by talking about watching the Netflix revival movie of Rocco's Modern Life. So without any further ado, Dan, how have you been? Not too bad. Actually, I'm a little tired. Okay. Um, well, you know, you and me were a team, mm-hmm. and I talked about doing more Twitch crap, and this is basically a solo project. I don't have you to lean on to actually do all <laughs> do all the heavy lifting as an so, audio. So you've been everything. doing it already? I've been, well, see, before when I was streaming to Twitch, I just streamed straight from my PS4. Right. With no overlays, nothing. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out Streamlabs, and I'm like, I'm not even out of kindergarten yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can probably help you get that up and running at well, least. No, I got it up and running, but mm-hmm. it's just because you have to make an overlay, which I know Pally was like, just pay someone. I'm like, mm-hmm. pay someone? <laughs> I don't mind paying someone, but I look at all the ones that are like $15, $20. They all look the same. I feel like they have a template. Like, I could do that. And then it's also creating alerts. And I at first I wanted to do like a... Two people webcam. Yeah. And then I realized that would literally melt the shitty laptop I use. Seriously. Because <laughs> <laughs> I tried doing like a, a webcam from my tablet and my cell phone mm-hmm. and then having them both stream to my laptop. And my laptop made noises. Jesus. Like it was like going to hell. <laughs> it sounded like, you know when a submarine goes too far deep yeah. into the ocean? <laughs> That's what it sounded Jesus. like. It sounded like it was going to blow up. <laughs> So I think now it's just uh, going to have to do like a screen share to talk about articles. Yeah. And maybe just do like uh, hangouts. Okay. So yeah. And I asked people, I put it on our Instagram, like what they would rather see me do is uh, gameplay videos or a talk show. Yeah. Overwhelmingly talk show. Talk show, eh? I think everyone knows I'm shit at games. <laughs> <laughs> also tonight I am playing with someone on uh, on Twitch. Okay. Uh, her name is A Glory Warrior. Okay. I know, you thought it was going to go a different way it's with that cool. name. Well, I mean, even the name still, <laughs> it's still in that realm. Yeah, she's actually pretty hilarious. Um, her accent makes her sound like a fucking murderer. What I she, love what, it. What is it? I think she's Aussie? New York or like something. New York? Hey, oh. I'm walking over here. <laughs> like, she's honestly, she's interesting to watch because she just does, like, uh, single player playthroughs. And she doesn't want you to spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> But now I'm like, oh, you're playing The Witcher? Have fun playing that for 80, <laughs> 80 streams. <laughs> yeah, that was a long-ass game. Um, yeah, so I think they're all doing, uh, what's it called? La- the Last of Us mo- online multiplayer. Okay, that's still around. Okay. I know. I think a couple people, a couple of them are just trying to get some achievements. Yeah, yeah. I said, you know what, if I'm around and I feel like downloading the game again, yeah. I'll jump on. So who's who knows? Maybe yeah. I'll be on there. But uh, why don't we get into this shit? <laughs> okay, yeah. So you've been playing Black Desert. Oh. Yes, I played the <clears throat> open beta for PS4. Mm-hmm. And then, you know when you play something and you know it's bad? Yeah, oh yeah. And then you think, maybe everyone else hates it. Sekiro? But, I know. Well, no. Not everyone. No one hates <laughs> that. Out of the Soulsborne style games, it's that 50, one is... I'd say it's 50-50. Yeah, or maybe even like 60-40. Like, more people like it than hate it. But yeah, maybe, but there's, but a, there's out a majority. Of, out of all this is definitely the lowest on the totem pole. But Yes. Yeah, but. Because at first there were no game player reviews. There was all like blogs from like news sites. Yeah. Talking about how good looking the game is, how fun it is. I smell payola. Oh my god. PlayStation blog, you let me down. Yeah. Because then I looked at like the actual player reviews, and everyone felt the same like me. This game sucks. The graphics look like they're from PS3. The servers are so choppy. Yeah. The actual game itself feels like it popped out of Korean free-to-play MMO 2006. Yeah, well, right before this, you showed me some footage, and that was just... It gave me a headache. Yeah. The only positive thing that came out of it 
was that I made my character reach around. <laughs> I had to get I had to get crafty with spelling yeah, it. Yeah, you showed me the spelling. <laughs> um, but you know that was like the only funny part because here's the story: you wake up out of nowhere, <laughs> and a black ball ghost talks to you and says, "Yeah, you have to go do this thing." These are like the most like obtuse things to tell you. It gives you the worst directions. And then there's just a dotted line you like follow. Is it like a Souls game? Because in a Souls game, they... No. Like... It is like... You've played Dead Space, right? Yeah, yeah. What if Dead Space didn't have that line? <laughs> that's how obtuse that game is. Jesus. Like, this is like... That's why I said it was like 2005, MMO, free to play. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's It just looks so bad. And there was actually... The one part my girlfriend was actually really upset with yeah. because the beginning uh, monsters you have to kill are like foxes. Okay, I was going to say like dogs, but yeah. And they sound so sad and cute. <laughs> and like I, I was killing them. I wasn't gaining experience because I hadn't accepted the quest yet. <laughs> so then I had to accept the quest. And basically you're killing baby foxes and wolves. <laughs> and, oh, and trees. You're, ki- you're killing trees. And they're called... Young trees. Jesus Christ. So you're just so murdering like the a, earth. It's like a Donald Trump simulator or something. Jesus. Oh my god. And the gameplay was so bad. Honestly, I, I don't I don't like to hate on games that are in open beta and shit. So what's so bad about this gameplay? It's boring. Honestly. Is it just your your actions are right and left. I played a wizard. <clears throat> Somehow my main attack would make me jump sideways and then attack. <laughs> And then I found out, oh, I could just spam, like, a magic missile or magic arrow or whatever. Mm -hmm. And just steal everyone's kills. So I did that just to fuck with everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Because apparently my guy had so much magic, he could just... I I just held it down, held down the trigger button, and aimed. (laughs) And also, in an MMO, there's no lock-on. There's that. When the server is literally dying, and people are clipping everywhere, how do you not have a lock-on function? And this, this game's been, like, what, since 2012 or 15? Seriously? On PC? Jeez. Like, I mean, I haven't heard much about this ever. And, like, you're the first person I've heard about this three. Yeah. Uh, well, I told you to sign up for the beta. I mean, you must be really upset you I didn't think, sign well, up I for think, it. Well, I think, like, when was the beta? It was, like, this last weekend. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess it would have been here, because I know this whole... Or, I mean, the, oh, the last past weekend, I was yeah. still out of town. Like, I yeah. just got, I got back on Sunday. Yeah, so, honestly, you didn't miss anything. Yeah. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah. I was annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, so honestly, hey, if you want, if you, because there are people out there who still like World of Warcraft. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I never, well, I never. This is like it. a worse yeah. World of Warcraft. Yeah. It, gets, it does look way behind the times. It, oh it just gosh. looks like I looked at it and it was just something I wouldn't pay any attention to. And it's not even free. Yeah, that's it was a, a yeah that was the impression I was getting. It was going to be a free-to-play. Because it looks free-to-play. Yeah, it looks 100% does. Yeah. Bad graphics, bad servers, hundreds of people in the same area. That's the free-to-play model. All, all the way, yeah. Nope. Textbook. This is a worse cash grab than Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to make us all crawl like anime fans in Prom Night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, that it for uh, Black Desert. There's not much to talk about. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised I talked for at least eight <laughs> minutes. Well, I guess I'll uh, go into Fire Emblem Three Houses. So uh, last time around, I talked about it, but since then, I, I was what I was like twenty to twenty five hours in that first time. I've beaten the game since then. Uh, it took me sixty three ish hours. So that's a it's a nice length. Like that's a good length right that's there. That's half for, a Persona Five. Less than half a Persona Five. I was gonna say like. Was it like one thirty five? Yeah, for me it was like one hundred thirty hours. I remember Persona Five. My my playthrough was one hundred thirty hours, and I was like, "Fuck, I just take it back, <laughs> take it, back, get it out of my house." <laughs> I'm trying to beat it that time. Like I was like, "Oh yeah, man, I'm gonna beat it. I'm probably gonna buy my own copy and get some platinum in, and then." Are you getting Persona Five Royal? Yeah, I will. I, I there you go. see. Yeah, I mean, there you but go. because there'll be like a two year gap between that those times. But I'm not a, a, a psychopath like you, <laughs> who will who's what's a platinum Persona Five. And then you're gonna pl- try and platinum Persona Five the Royal. Around seventy five percent. That's still crazy. Like, and that's still a lot considered how much. No, you've because done. no, because a lot of them it falls at the end of the game. Okay. So it's like building up the Jenga blocks. Fair enough. 
And you sure you've like checked off all the boxes so that when you beat it, you're not going to miss anything? I, pro- I actually know I am going to miss something. Oh, see, look at that. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, because you have to read all the book. I think it's uh, read oh, all- yeah. read every book or and uh, there's one that where you have to beat every video game. Uh-huh. I don't think I'm going to beat every video no. game. No. Like, I unless I, yeah. I save, Scott, save... Try to beat the game yeah. in one day. Did they, did they let you do stuff like that? I know there's something. I can't you, remember what game. There's some game that you can just spoof the save and you get trophies doing that way. I can't remember what it was now though. Well, that's like every Fallout Skyrim. Yeah, but no, this one it's if you fuck up, you have to close the close the event, game, oh, exit the application, and go back in. <laughs> no, see, like I have, I don't have the time for that at all. Like that's, no, that's why I honestly think it might take me another playthrough. But with that one, you don't actually have to get all the way to the end. Okay. Fire Emblem Three Houses, time flies so quickly in that. Like, it was like, I, I can sit down, and then I be, I'm done. And like, between the two saves, it says five hours have passed. Like, it, it feels so, like, so quick that you get you're caught up in the battles, the, 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 all the management and the social aspects. Like, it's take up your time, and it's, it's so swift or so uh, seamless and immersive that you don't really feel it. This Persona 5, overall, it's, it's really immersive, but man, when you get past 80 hours, once you beat the the um, politician's mind palace, it just goes on and on and on and on. Well, actually, uh, my current save, uh-huh. I'm only at like thir- not even 30 out- 35 hours Okay. because I've skipped every All the dialogue, scene, yeah. But also, I beat every palace in one night. Yeah, I guess you're, you're a lot more OP. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so back to Fire Emblem Three Houses, though. How uh, does how does whatever this every time game pop the second up, time around? Fire uh, Fire Emblem is Persona tied to Persona Five. Well, I mean, it's I mean it's fair because again, you know what? I feel like Fire Emblem Three Houses took so much from Persona Five. I'm gonna smash the switch. <laughs> yeah. It's too much of a rip off. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, rip rip out of the headlines right there. Right? <laughs> yep. that dumb motherfucker. That's crazy. That could have been a bit hetero, but um. Well, we waited like four weeks after. Yeah, and it, was, it was last week, but still. Was it last yeah, week? Yeah, because I remember yeah, I was in, in like the. Uh, Caribbean. S- no, I was in a <laughs> it, well, I was in a seedy hotel room, in uh, Canada's best value inn. <laughs> 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 I spent my week sleeping there. All Loading day. a gun <laughs> with a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> anyway, I honestly, it felt it felt like the kind of place we were hiding from the police. Like, like I felt like if I grew my hair out, I feel like I should have been shaving my hair or dyeing a different color. It was that kind of place where they kept where they had to sleeping. But anyway, it was a nice short length, you know, and it wasn't too long like other games where you know. By the way, I just want to say, yeah. I told you this episode was gonna be fucked up because you made show notes. <laughs> <laughs> And I purposely saw it Honestly, just to fuck this up again. <laughs> see, no, see, it's only fucked up because you're fucking it up. It's like you're deliberately throwing a red jet to prove a point. Yes. That's how it works. Okay, well, the Persona stuff, the Persona stuff was unintentional. <laughs> okay. Because it just naturally leads into yeah. it. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I can't look at you. I can't look at you. <laughs> anyway. That's what most girls say. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but I mean, it was a nice, perfect length, and like, compared to like other RPGs or JRPGs, which should take 130 hours. This is a this is beautiful in terms of its duration. And you played the uh, the Edelgard one, yeah, right? So the, the Black Black Eagles. So yeah, Black Eagles. So I mean, I beat it and I immediately missed it. Like I immediately felt like I want to play it again. And I'll probably be, wait a couple days and then go and start a new campaign. I'm a little apprehensive though because. I feel like, at least to me, I got the best outcome I wanted. So I guess, I mean, it's been out for what, two or three weeks now. I can probably, I'll probably go a little bit into spoiler territory. I won't go too deep, but I didn't even realize it until a little bit in that there are multiple routes you can take within it. And the Black Eagles is the most unique in that way because the other ones, if you take take the Blue Lions or, or Golden Deer... They have like one specific path. The, the Black Eagles, though, there's a certain fork in the road. So there's a character in it that seemed like a bad guy and all that. Partway through, uh, it turns out it's Edelgard. So it's like then you to the point where like the bishop of the church says says kill Edelgard, and it's like you can either say I'm gonna kill I'd like okay I'm with the church or it's like. No, oh, she's my girl, man. I gotta stay with her. You stayed with her, didn't you? Of course. So I stayed. I stayed with Edelgard, and I'm glad I did because it's like I like how the game kind of fleshes out the characters. And actually, out of games, I will say Edelgard's probably the most interesting game character 
I've seen, at least in in recent years. Because it's they give her a lot of complexity to show that she she did like a lot. She kind of like I guess crosses moral boundaries, but she has good intentions overall because she's against the church and like, hey, if you're against the church, it's my kind of girl. Because the whole thing is that the church kind of has created this kind of like aristocracy and she wants to do away with the church and kind of make the world more secular humanist. So it's like everybody is equal based on their own ability as opposed to the religion and the crests. So I went with that route and I've, I enjoyed it. It was interesting seeing it fold out. Um, and that point later, and then using the battles, you, you fight the other kids and like practice fights. They get hurt, but they walk off. And this one, though, now that everyone's kind of spread off, you're actually killing them. So it's like, and if for some reason, it actually had an impact. And you're killing the people. Like you kind of feel sorry for some of them. Some of them was like, I didn't like you anyway. But some of them, when you kill them, like there's like this little nerdy kid named Ignatz, and then I killed him, and it's like, oh, it's. And they have like a dramatic death when they die. They go, ah! <laughs> when they die, when you kill them, and, and when it's like the the stakes are actually higher, are raised. They go, ah! <laughs> and like you see, like they, they fall in slow motion, and then you hear the sad music, and they're like, I wish I could have done more in my life. <laughs> Mother, I'm coming to see you. <laughs> All these things, like Jesus. So, it's like, so some of them I got to spare, and one of them I, I, I got to like join my my group. And with the leaders, it's one who you get to le- let to spare. So I chose to let him live. But the other one hates your guts no matter what. And I uh, went through and I watched the alternate version to see what his path is like. And if you pick, you side with him, and then you watch it, and he see, sees sees that Edelgard is the the flame, flame, emperor. flame emperor he uh like loses his shit and he last like light yagami from death note and then he goes crazy and kill everybody then he like gets an eye patch and just becomes like a total maniac so nice. like, i kind of want to see his path but I, i'm also kind of glad inside of him because it's like he seems mentally unstable so those are the most fun <laughs> i don't hey i'm the one in detroit who made connor kill it. okay yeah. by the way that playthrough is fucked up I cannot get past that your partner shooting you in the face because of that. <laughs> you know when they're at the park? Yeah. Every yeah. outcome ends up with me getting shot. No, honestly, it's, it's hard. It's, it's even hard in doing it because I think I played the good way. Like, I think I yeah, played... Yeah, I played the good way too and okay. I got through it. Okay, I think I had to do it a couple times. I think really? I, yeah. I think I, you have to pick very specific answers to get No, it. I didn't. No, I, I got through that part the first time. Okay, interesting. But now I've tried like every thing and... It, Fuck, I fucked this shit. I fucked the episode up again. But yeah, I'm fucking... Every answer gets me shot in the face. <laughs> just because I was ready to let him fall off the building to catch the android. That's right. Because right. <laughs> I told you I was going to do Ultimate Connor. <laughs> oh, and also I killed the two lesbian robots. That's what like. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> he was like so pissed. Dick. <laughs> and, I, and instead of like offering to buy him a drink, I threw his drink at him. <laughs> I think, like when you first meet him, you yeah. throw the drink. So I was purposely acting like a prick. Yeah. Fuck. But yeah. So anyway, um, with Fire Emblem, so I've enjoyed. Like I enjoy the Edelgard path, and I again find her a very compelling character, and I think she is a better character, the best character out of all of them. And yeah, in the end, my character married her, and all of that. And um, weeb. Yeah, that's yeah. It's. Look at the, from the guy who in Persona went out of his way to to like try and, and like get with every girl. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, except for the fortune teller, I fucked that one up. Oh, okay, so just it's because you couldn't, not because you didn't want to. No, I fucked up. I fucked up my answers because it sounded like the positive thing to say. Yeah. And then she was like, "Oh, we're just friends now." I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, I'll go through and I'll I do. I can. I've already spoiled it for myself anyway. Seeing the other outcomes for the uh, other stories. So I know the general beats that will be gone through, but I still feel really compelled to play it again. Uh, difficulty wise. I mean, I've never played a fireman before, so I played it on normal, but I didn't have much, po- much problems at all. I, it was, it felt like I pulled a Dan and just like over leveled myself or something. Cause my main character, Byleth, who, uh, or you can just name it wherever you want. Um, like I never, he never, he would never get knocked down. It was like, I, and like, I could literally just walk through anybody with him. Like when people would just walk, like in the fights, I put him in the forefront 
Then, then they could wait, and then once the enemy's turn, they just come up. Then like you hit him, they he all dodges. just ran into him. Yeah, they ran into him. He it's like he blocks or dodges, and then he kills him in one slash so over and over again. So yeah. it was. I mean, it was fairly easy in terms of that. I I did die a couple times. I mean, my some of my other characters died a few times, but the game has the rewind function, so you can oh, use does it? yeah. So okay. I mean, Thank God. yeah, you have permadeath, but I mean, it's like. They feel. I feel like they know. No one actually wants to do the permadeath. You put permadeath on, you don't actually want it. You're just gonna reset or something anyway. So they give you. They can use like a few turns. You can you can up the amount. Yeah. You can keep resetting it and doing that. So I I just do that. But okay. yeah, no. I again, I love the hell of this game. I haven't enjoyed a game this much in a while. I was feeling jaded at the beginning of this year. I remember with Resident Evil Two and Sekiro. So to see that there's something that I can find this much enjoyment out of. It's reassuring, and it's, it's so <laughs> we'll see. I mean, again, you now that you have a switch, you could probably get it, and you said you will. I mean, if I beat if I beat the game a few more times, but uh, between then and now, then I can lend you my copy. Yeah, like I said, uh, Erica's not home, so I'm not gonna go straight home. I'll probably go to Walmart. Maybe I pick it up if it's what we're in Canada, sixty nine dollars, something like that. Yeah. I think it's got, I guess it's, yeah, what's the fucked up prices? But yeah. So I, I bought the collector's edition, so it was a bit more. Well, yeah. Like I said, I wouldn't pay full price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? There's only one game that I would pay full price for because I know it's never going to sell. It's a Lab at Labo? Yeah. <laughs> Mario Kart. I was Kart... joking, but. Right? <laughs> well, because Mario Kart, people are going to buy it and then they're not they're going to sell it, probably. Yeah. Same with mm-hmm. Smash Bros. Yeah. So, and I know that Fire was going to go on sale during Black Friday. Yeah. So, the only thing that will never be on sale is Labo Armor. <laughs> I guess so, yeah, you have to get it fresh. <laughs> Plus, well, actually, you know what, there is one more game that I might actually consider buying. Just because it's so hard to play on the fucking PC. Cuphead. Okay, yes, yeah. I mean, I didn't mind it on PC. Like, I have, like, I have the setup I can put, play Xbox. I played my PS4 it. into the thing. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I still feel like there's a lag in it. I didn't like. I don't want like. It's not a lag in mine. It's just something weird to me about playing games on PC. That's why yeah. like, I have. A, this is a, a good. This laptop is pretty high end. I have a, a good gaming desktop upstairs in the living room. And yeah. It's just. I don't know. It's, it's just even I, I have them plugged into TV and all that, so it should feel like I'm playing a console, but it just doesn't. It's not the same. No, it's it's not the same at all. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So that's it for me and Fire Emblem Three Houses. I. Might talk about it again if I do another playthrough or something. Or what I mean, are you trying to be me in Persona Five? <laughs> <laughs> not, You're not, stealing my shtick. <laughs> I mean, again, this is this is sixty something hours, not one hundred thirty hours. So we'll see. <laughs> but I mean, there is DLC coming out, and I already bought the whole like all the the, the DLC season pass. So Fire Emblem the Royal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so wait, are that. you ready to buy Fire Emblem Warriors? That's not, that's the Musou one now. See, I mean, at least for that now, that's a different story because Fire Emblem's already Nintendo property, and that was kind of a thing. Like, I mean, you, you knew you're gonna get a main a mainstream Fire Emblem game down the road, so it's like that was just pandering. That's fine. <laughs> The Persona Fire, and they didn't fucking like like pull the rug out from beneath their feet either. It was like saying, "Hey, what's this?" Persona 5S. Okay, Switch. Nintendo never said anything about it. It was everyone else. But they, why would you call it S though? Usually, game because any game, most games, when they make a Switch edition of it, they add an S. Look, look at like Dragon Age 11, sorry, Dragon Quest 11 S. Like usually, you add an S because you know it's a Switch edition. So they knew what the fuck they were doing. They knew what they were, they were doing. It was like a troll. I don't I, unnecessary. It was like an unnecessary. I know what you're doing, and I know what you're doing too. I know it, it's like a troll on top of a troll. But anyway, <laughs> we'll move on. We'll, let's, moving on. So you played Will a Wonderful World. Yeah. So Will a Wonderful World is a visual novel type game, where it's really kind of weird to. It's an anime visual novel. Mm-hmm. Where you play as God, which, yeah, <laughs> right? But people will write to you mm-hmm. about their problems and everything and, like, how their situation gets fucked up. Yeah. And then the only real gameplay is where you take their letters and you rearrange sort of the paragraphs okay. to alter the outcomes. Yeah. And so then you then you basically watch what happens after. That's kind of neat. So that's actually – it's, like, really easy at the beginning. Yeah. And then there are times where it's uh, you have to do two people simultaneously, 
by interchanging and switching them all up, but one will affect the other. <laughs> so it it actually is never actually that hard, although you can fuck it up. Yeah. But you can all you just restart. Oh yeah, but I mean, <laughs> it sounds fun. Like I think I think my girlfriend would really like it too because there's a show we watched called um, Miracle Workers. And it's it stars Daniel Radcliffe, the Harry Potter kid. Oh, and, uh, Daniel Steve, Radcliffe. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi plays God, and he's like, so "Wait, wait, wait, wait." Steve Buscemi is God. <laughs> he, he plays God, but he's like a burnt out God. He's kind of an idiot, and like heaven's like a corporation. Okay. So uh, Daniel Radcliffe's character is like this. Um, he's like this loner kind of guy who works alone in, in this in an office where no one else wants to be there with him. And his whole job is to solve miracles, but it's like he has to to like, do a lot of work to do it. Like if someone lost their keys, he has to like, like make a keep on like tapping a button to make a leaf move over and over and over to like push the key out. Like he can't do big ones, but then he has a coworker who's like like kind of like more of a type A personality. So she like tries doing this like, hey, look, there you go, solve it right there. But then it has big repercussions because you like made it too immediate. Yeah. So it's things like that. So like one one miracle will cause like a major cause huge waves so it's kind of this like kind of butterfly right. effect yeah. exactly so it kind of sounds like that show. yeah um, and bad shit can happen but also there are poop gags <laughs> okay literally yeah um <laughs> what's the story without a good poop joke right i know um honestly i actually kind of want you to play it just to get your get to gauge no, your I'm, reaction I'm on interested it. In the list, yeah. because like i said don't buy it on ps4 no. it's regular price Buy it on Steam. It's seventeen dollars, and it's not like a uh, that demanding of a game anyway. So. No, um, and also don't buy the soundtrack. <laughs> How would you, did you buy the soundtrack? I never. Well, because they have a they have the bundle for they have the game for seventeen, <laughs> or they have the bundle for twenty two. Yeah, don't buy the fucking soundtrack. No, I can only get the soundtrack again if it comes in the case like the Fire Emblem one, or if it's like a, yeah. if it comes with it, sure. But I'm not going out of my way to get the soundtrack because it's it's it, the <laughs> soundtrack works. Yeah. But it's not memorable. No, okay. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. But yeah, it's actually it was actually a very surprisingly fun game. Okay. And I think I I bought this because I was working on all that Streamlabs crap. Yeah. So I was already at the computer, and I was very frustrated because the only game I was planning on playing this weekend was Black Desert. <laughs> God shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> so this game was actually a bit of a surprise as I was like. Whenever I play any visual novel, mm-hmm. I always imagine it's gonna be kind of crap. Mm-hmm. This one was, I'd say, it's like a seven, a six, or a seven. It's an interesting concept with good art and interesting stories. It's not gonna blow your mind. It's not Danganronpa. Okay. It ain't Ace Attorney. Yeah. But it was actually better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. So it's a nice cheap buy. I'd say buy it. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Hang on a second. Oh, your, your, so. your girl's home. Yeah. We gotta put our shirts back on. <laughs> Stop rubbing our nipples up against the microphone. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> so that's it for you, Will, A Wonderful World? Yeah. Okay, so... Well, actually, I bought it originally because I wanted to stream it on Twitch. But then, like, with any visual novel, I always worry about the anime titties. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to do a playthrough. And after that, I was like, huh. It doesn't sound like it would. You never know. Yeah. Because <laughs> it <laughs> actually, well, because it, it had like uh, seeds with like defecation and stuff. I'm like, I don't know anymore. Yeah, that's very true. I, yeah. I can't, I can't risk a ban yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. So it is an anime style game then? I yeah, think it's, I it's like anime cutscenes. Okay, yeah. So yeah, then yeah, I probably. I could miss. Well, because I was like, happen. you know what? They might not show everything, but might, they might show like girl ass. Yeah. They might not show the booze, but they will probably so show the butt. And does Twitch have like a certain, like, do they get weird about that or anything? No. Okay. Well, like uh, Twitch does. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they, they'll they well see. It depends. If you're a big channel, they don't touch you. Hmm. Me, I have not even enough to become a, an affiliate okay. yet. <laughs> I know they're like porn stars who have their own Twitch channels and all that, but I guess yeah. they're not do performing or I have no idea. They just play just dance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, we'll move on to the closer, which is Rocco's Static Cling. Yeah. So now, this was actually a, I I didn't read anything about it. Okay. I had heard about it. I heard about it. So I knew the brief history that this and the Invader Zim one were in the works. Like I heard years ago that they're in the works, and then I check in every once in a while, see what's going on with it. Nothing. And then one day Nickelodeon just said, "Nah, we don't want to air it anymore because I think the Hey Arnold one 
didn't do well. Oh, there was a Hey Arnold reboot? Yeah, or not, like, a, like a movie or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they had that, didn't do well, so Nickelodeon got scared for whatever reason. Really? So they dumped these two, and then Netflix said, hey, we'll take it, because Netflix was, that yeah. tends to you know, take other people's garbage. Yeah. So, um, But I was very surprised yeah. to see it on my Netflix screen. Also, oh, for you, it was a total surprise. Yeah, I was, I was there. I was so happy. I was yeah. like, oh, Rocco. Yeah. So I used the to watch one. it back in the day. Huh? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, same. Like, if they ever pull, pull that out and... Uh, Remember Creepy Tales? Mm-hmm. Oh, is it the one that was like With the, the cockroach and the worm? Yeah, yeah. They bring that shit back? Oh, I'd be so happy. <laughs> but there is going to be an Are You Afraid of the Dark reboot. But it's a movie. And I feel like, well, I oh, know. Yeah, it's a reboot. Yeah. They're doing a the movie. They canceled the movie. So yeah, it's a reboot. Yeah. Because they did they just did a movie of scary stories to tell in the dark. So I feel like they feel like movies is a... You mean Goosebumps? No, scary stories to tell in the dark. It's oh, a, really? You know, you remember those books? Um, like they have the fucked up art with... um. It's, I'll show you. They're they're popular around the time we were kids. I I never read like the Goosebumps. Stuff I didn't I didn't like Goosebumps either. But this one the, this one had amazing art. I'll have to show you the art. Okay, I, ha- I have some of the books here, but yeah. Because by the time I was old enough to be reading Goosebumps, like when it was coming Just to our yeah, I was reading The Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I'm Asian. Yeah. Humble brag, Asian. <laughs> I read The and Hobbit was, in grade three. <laughs> and I was reading, like, well, okay, it wouldn't be The Hobbit, but like, like the, as a kid, I was, re- I was already reading, like, stuff like American Psycho and all that, so. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this one, I used to watch a show. I mean, I haven't watched since it aired, in all honesty. I mean, it kind of, like, it used to be on YTV, and yeah. since then, maybe, I haven't watched, I haven't, probably haven't watched it for 20 years or so. Yeah, I mean, Rocco's always had a little spot in my heart, mm-hmm. but yeah, I never really went back and watched mm-hmm. it. And it was so nice to see Heifer and Filbert yeah. and Rocco. And they're in a spaceship. I never watched the last episode. Yeah, did it end that way? Did it actually end another? I actually don't like know how they got in the spaceship house. Because at the end, they have the Star Wars kind of crawl that yeah. says uh, the last time we saw Rocco, Filbert, and, and Heifer, they were in space or something. So I don't yeah. know if it actually did end that way or not. But but let's just talk about what the show is like okay so yeah it's kind of like in the vein of Ren and Stimpy it's uh yes and they actually stayed true to it, it well it's the same people behind it yeah so, so the nipples were shooting out yeah <laughs> you know the nipple milk jokes yeah <laughs> yeah well, they, they brought all the original creators back or at least the vast majority of it so it's yeah. not like it's a thing where like Mega Man fully charged where it's just people who have no idea what the material is coming in and doing it true it is, it is pretty much a direct continuation and it keeps the spirit, seems the same kind of tone. But it also, I mean, the whole point of it is that it's getting, it's about you know, getting with the times. Which, I mean, it has to be because Robin Rocco's modern life, right? So I guess Rocco was, he was a big thing in the night. Wait, was Jim Krikofalski? Craig, John Krikofalski, that was right in Stimpy. Yeah, okay. So he, he had nothing no, to do? No, no. So, I can't remember the names of the guys. Because I know that uh, the people who did Rocco's Modern Life, like they worked under him or they were somehow it could associated. Have, it could have been connected. I mean, it was all Nickelodeon, it was Nickelodeon at yeah. the time, so they could have been, probably had had some bleed over, but John Creek Faluzzi didn't have any involvement. Okay, because in I'm like, I felt like, man, what's he up to? Oh, he, he's a pedophile. Well, I know that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's what he's up to now. But was he actually charged? Uh, probably not. He got hit with it, and then I haven't heard. You haven't heard of him since then. Like it, it, that kind of disappeared. In all honesty, I just remember seeing that. I was like, "Eesh." Well, because he burnt out on Reddit. He came back for yeah. like the two thousand nine. Two thousand. No, it was like two thousand three. Oh. Yeah, it's two thousand three. Whatever yeah. popped up on MTV. Yeah, oh, it was fucked. The, the um, Adult Swim. I I didn't even. I didn't like that one. It was, it was a little too, too fucked up. It was like trying too hard to be edgy yeah and i guess it just didn't have the same spirit to it well he did, did they see the problem was they came out during jackass years it was that but also gets the tone it's it like it's like robocop one to robocop two where robocop one was like had fucked up violence for like a guy at a board meeting gets shot by accident uh, and like shot into a million pieces and all that and like there's a guy gets covered in acid explodes but then robocop two he just got too nasty it was like it was like a part where a guy gets Operated on alive, like they cut him open with a scalpel. <laughs> you should see Dad's face. He's like, he's yeah, like, he's like giddily nodding. Yeah, tell me about that motherfucker. He got cut up good. <laughs> but anyway, the whole thing, and it's like the whole thing is that that movie went too crazy with the darkness, and I feel like it's, it's a hard balance to watch with the dark humor, kind of like a, a major tightrope. And I feel like with Ren Stimp, they went too far. With Rocco, though, they. I, they it, did it perfect? Yeah, it feels it feels like they didn't miss a beat. I'm obviously it's about them being in modern times, but I feel like it didn't miss the beat. Yeah, so they have the iPhone jokes and they yeah. have the 
Oh, there's a Starbucks on every corner yeah. now. So, yeah, let's just get into, uh, I guess, the blow-by-blow blow for what it is. So. Yeah. Um, so they're in space from the previous yeah, adventures that, uh, or whatever. They land back home because the remote is stuck to Heifer's ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then it's just those three sort of coming back and trying to get the big heads or the, the yeah, fat heads TV show. Yeah, a cartoon they, they used to love and then... It's been canceled ever since then, so they want to get it back, and they want to, I guess... So while this is going on, Rocco's kind of alienated by all the changes that have happened within the last 20 years, but his friends are kind of getting more into it. Like They're obsessed with the iPhones and all of that. But, the Red Bull. Yeah. <laughs> and then while they're doing that, they uh, want to get this cartoon up, but then the issue is they can't uh, find the cartoonist behind it. Which is Rocco's neighbor's son. Yeah, Mr. Big Head's son. Yes. Um, and by accident, when they were coming back to Earth, they caused Mr. Big Head to have an accounting error, <laughs> which trashes his company, yeah. <laughs> making them lose money, and then he gets fired. Yeah. <laughs> so Rocco convinces Mr. Big Head... That he will save the company. To save the, to save the company by finding his long-lost son and restoring the Fat Heads TV show. This is a really weird plot. Yeah, well, but I, mean, I love it. It fits. I it's, love it's right it, though. with it. Cause they're I, all crazy. And it, you, I feel so bad because I love Rocco. He's such a cute character. Yeah. And he's like, please, this is all I have. <laughs> with his little Aussie accent, that yeah. little wallaby. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so then they do that. And then I guess, I guess the movie, it's actually interesting because it goes about uh, having, I guess, a progressive message, but in a very innocent way and, and then it doesn't really bash it over your head or anything either no they weave it into the story yeah, really it's, well. it's really seamless I guess. it's not exactly you know it's not as overt as yeah. you know the secret of Nim. yeah there's a character who i can't remember this character was in the old one in all honesty i haven't watched it but the character who was a male who uh wants who's gotten us uh, who's i guess i don't know if they've gotten a full sex gene but obviously they want to identify as a female and say call me this name now and they, Rocco and his friends, they're, they're so just it's like, oh yeah, okay. They have no like real issues with it. Yeah. But then his, uh, their her dad has a big issue, and then the whole thing is about you know patching that up, and then the way they um, the way the way they resolve it is also pretty touching. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, the humor and yeah. the jokes they're just so nostalgic. Yeah. Like it was new jokes. But it was the same sort of tone. Yeah, and I'm, I feel like there must have been a million callbacks to the show. There's some that I noticed, but a lot is just... Like, I, it's it's a, not a blur to me. I can remember it enough to say, oh, yeah, that's familiar. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know these characters. Yeah. I know the gist of it, but I know there must have It just been... feels so... It feels like home. Like, yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. I, I hope, honestly, that Netflix maybe makes a series out of it. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah. I would watch, like, yeah. give me a six-part miniseries. Yeah. You know, give me the the Castlevania yeah. treatment. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's going to happen. Maybe because like Nickelodeons, I feel like they're they've gone a totally different direction since then and now. Yeah, they're weird. Yeah, I mean, the last good thing from Nickelodeon I can think of is that uh, Ninja Turtles animated series they had. The CG one. Yeah, the CG one. Not the one where Raphael's the leader. That's what he is now. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Oh. That's and weird. he he wears the. Full... He's a do rag. I saw that much. Yeah, but he wore a do rag in the next in, mutation. In the movie, well, in the next mutation, yeah. Remember the fox, the, the live action, <laughs> the live action fox. Jesus one? Christ, I with, remember with that. With Venus. Yeah, I remember that. I remember watching it, and you could see uh, their faces through their mouths. Yeah, it was you amazing. You could see the the, the, the actors' faces in their in their between their teeth and all that. Yo, I watched that yeah, because it was so awkward yet funny. I, I like I never did, and I think it was on Netflix. I tried watching it a couple of years ago. And I was like, "What is this?" But they all looked so dirty. Yeah, <laughs> like none of their masks were clean. It's like except for Leonardo's. Yeah, like it's like somehow it's the production value is worse than the 1989 movie or 1990 movie. Actually, you know, the 1989 movie was amazing. Yeah, I'm not gonna no, lie. No, I, that I movie's still like great. It. Yeah, I still like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I even like Secret of the Ooze. I don't think it's as good of a movie, but I still like the second. Number two. One. Yeah. 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 The third one is the one. Like, what? Yeah. The third one was the best you're, one. You're a lunatic. No, I, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to say, yeah. No one believes that. No, I was going to say. Even as kids, we all thought it was good, but you could see on your faces you don't understand. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's kind of like if they were to give sex ed to grade three or Yeah. You know? And they just like, 
they're like, oh, I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about this, <laughs> but I, I also don't have the mental capacity to say, please stop. Yeah. What you're doing to my Ninja Turtles? <laughs> No, that is it's such a disaster. But yeah, Rock was Rock Modern Life, though. <laughs> Rock was Modern Life's very good. Yeah, it was good. And Mia kept the spirit. And, and also, you know what? I am glad. The animation looks the same. Yeah, it's like, it's not. it wasn't like cheap flash animation or anything. Well, or... not even that, but even like... I can't watch New Looney Tunes cartoons. Oh, no. They're, they're, because it's too clean looking. And it's not the same thing. The humor is totally different. Yeah, like, well, even shit like Space Jam. I fucking if if that Bugs Bunny doesn't yeah. dress up like a woman... <laughs> Smoke a cigar that explodes yeah. and bitch slap somebody. Yeah, I mean, the, the old ones were there's a very distinct sense of humor to those ones, and they, uh, they, they it got lost after pretty much Mel Blanc died, I believe. Yes, and also just in like a lot of the other things, I feel like the last thing it's a weird thing to say, but the last property that ever had the Looney Tunes that kept their spirit was, um. Lynchings back in action. I don't think it's a good movie. Whoa! I don't buddy. think it's a good movie, but I think that Joe Dante was a big fan of the Looney Tunes, and he hated Space Jam, which I do too. And he said that he made it as a kind of antidote to a Space Jam. So the characters, I'll say, the they characters act like that. Yeah, they, they're way more on, on par than they were in Space Jam, which that movie is the bane of my fucking existence. But well, here's <laughs> the thing. Space Jam was not intended for Looney Tunes characters. No, it was. You it could was, literally replace them with generic cartoon characters. It, it was all. Work. It was all marketing. The whole movie is just a marketing scheme. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, come on! It's just Michael Jordan playing basketball. Well, I think the thing is, people just act like it's this, this beloved classic. It's because they watched it as kids. Yeah, that's what it is. But I mean, I watched it. I was a kid, and it's like I just don't see it was good. Well, I, I see. I just thought it was boring. I thought it was awful. Yeah, like I. I it's watch, kind of, I watched it because I mean at the time I used to love Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Okay, now that's an amazing. That's movie, me. Though. I love. I still do. I, it gets holds. It holds up over now. Although I did get nightmares from when they ran that guy over with a steamroll. <laughs> when I first I love saw it. it, when I first saw it as a kid, that because the scream he made. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck <laughs> was that? Yeah. And his eyes are popping yeah. out. Come on, yeah, that, that was weird. That's bro. awesome. I mean, I was desensitized that because my. Uh, Oldest brother would watch like the craziest horror movies and like Robocop and all those violent movies. Well, see, and he I, would rewind it and over and over again. So I was, see, if it was just someone getting blown up, yeah, I don't have any problem with it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so why did that get to you so much? Because the guy was creepy looking. <laughs> yeah, he was, and he was making some weird sounds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like a cartoon slash human movie never kept me up so late until Cool World came out. Okay, fuck no, that's. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Different reasons, I'm assuming. I, I didn't see it until like I was like 14. And was, really? Yeah. I mean, I never. Like, it was just like I had no idea of its existence. It just came on TV, and I was like, like what? Oh, is this is like Roger Rabbit. I was like, oh, it's not like Roger Rabbit at all. <laughs> this is like shit. Yeah, this is a disaster. Like, what was going on? <laughs> I actually have never watched Cool World since I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> And I still imagine it was a piece of shit. I feel like we should do an episode on that because that would. I feel like interesting conversations could be had. Well, why don't we just up the ante? We do that and barbed wire. <laughs> huh? If you want to go down this path, <laughs> hey, honestly, what, I mean, luckily the year's starting to pick up now. I feel like things are coming out again more frequently, and there's more news coming. But I feel like we could have used something like that this summer where it was uh, a little slow. Oh my god. <laughs> Barbed wire. <laughs> who who actually went to the theaters to watch it? Oh, man, Other man. than like forty year old dude who yeah jacked their shit off. I could imagine because oh. it was Pamela Anderson in her prime. Oh yeah, yeah. But also, it was not the superhero movies. The only other superheroes you had were like the Shadow and the Phantom. And uh, don't forget Steel. Oh yeah, and Spawn. See Spawn, that was another thing I wish I could have liked. I, mean, I, I really I, I, wanted to like Spawn. <laughs> but it mean, shouldn't have been PG-13, and there are a lot of issues with it. Well, but. the guy basically looked like Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we were not ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> Although the clown they did get he was, really... He spot on, yeah. He got spot yeah, on, because yeah. I loved those toys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so upset because my mom would never let me buy those coins because they freaked the shit out of me. It was the same. Like, my friend's big brother had the comics. Like, oh, it's a gory comic. And then I tried getting it on my mom's side. I was like, you're not getting that. Well, and after my brother, my older brother, he's like, here, read this. I go, what is it? 
He's like, the guy who drew Batman didn't want to draw Batman anymore, so he basically <laughs> made Batman. <laughs> it's basically Batman. Yeah, it is. It is. But like murder is yeah. Batman. Murder is Batman. <laughs> so yeah. So I guess we. Yeah, we were way off the uh, Rockos, but you know we we closed that up. I told way. you it was the show notes. Yeah, no, it's, you ruined everything. No, it's not the show notes. This is this is just us, man. Yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> you is like it on it, but this is like us. year one tangents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So I mean, tomorrow the Invader Zim one comes out. I guess you said you weren't. Oh, as, does it? Yeah. You know, i've I've never been a fan. I've never really watched the okay. Invader Zim, not because the show looked bad. It's because of the of the fans. Well, that and also, I think I was a little bit like by the time I really heard about Invader okay. Zim, I was like seventeen. Okay, I wasn't yeah. going back. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But because, like, also by that time, the people who I knew who liked Invader Zim <laughs> were the people who annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of a show. Yeah, it's a show that kind of gained traction after post series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean. I, I I enjoyed it a lot. I have the DVD box set out there, and um, no, it, it's it was very subversive for the time, especially for a Nicktoon because most of them were just like kind of like let's hold hands stuff like Rugrats. So it was interesting to see this uh, crazy dark thing with like video game style music and like a something about a, a fucked up alien who wants to take over the world, but he's bad at his job. So I liked the whole just like twisted and subversive, subversive attitude it had. I liked the art style, and like the and then later on I read the comic that by uh, his name Johnny Vasquez. You ever read Johnny the Homicidal Maniac? No. I actually read through the whole series, and it's crazy. Like he, he it's nowhere near as Invasion is nowhere near as dark, but Johnny the Homicidal Maniac has some crazy stuff in it. So I'd say look it up sometime. Dude, I read horror manga. Yeah. Same. Oh yeah. No, I do too. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So I mean, if. I mean, if, if you're up for it, we can review that next. Might as well, you know, keep with I the I mean, theme. I'll watch it and I'll lead into it, but I'll tell you this. If they do callbacks, they're going over my head. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I again, with the Rocco's one, they're callbacks, and I feel like I was aware that they're callbacks. I probably didn't know all the callbacks, but Invader Zim will be a bit more fresh because I watched it more recently. It's one I do go back to a bit more frequently. So yeah. we'll see. So you will probably cover that next. Any other th- closing thoughts? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm going to go to Walmart to see if Fire Emblem yeah. cheap enough. Actually, hold on a second. Okay. Let's see. We're going to just jump on the old the old gaggle right here. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of the little end part since you said that you're, it's full of lies anyway. The end part of the episode, you know, the, uh, the CTA or whatever. Oh, okay. Then well, I'll just do this. Okay. Um, all right. Here we go. All right. I'm going to get real sensual with it. Hey, guys. Please fucking subscribe. We need more people to listen to us. Share it. Share it with your deaf grandmother. Play it. She can't hear us anyways. It's just noise to her. And she's lonely. You never visit her. Please, play it for your deaf grandmother. (laughs) All right? Subscribe. Send it to your estranged father. He would just be happy that you contacted him at all. (laughs) Share the fucking downloads. Well, if that doesn't get them going, then I don't know what will. (laughs) Does that that work for you? Yeah. (laughs) 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 On that note, we'll catch you guys next time.